News Army. Russia launched additional missiles after alleging that Ukraine damaged its air bases. Live updates on the Russia-Ukraine conflict On Monday, just before Russian troops launched a significant missile assault into Ukraine that killed people and destroyed houses and buildings, the Kremlin claimed that Ukrainian drones had targeted two air sites deep within Russian territory. Because it struck an airport containing bombers equipped to launch nuclear bombs, the unprecedented strike in Russia raised the prospect of a significant escalation of the nine-month conflict. President Vladimir Putin has pledged to protect his country with whatever measures at his disposal, which many have taken to imply using nuclear weapons. In response to yet another audacious assault, the October 8 truck bombing of a crucial bridge connecting its mainland to the Crimean Peninsula Russia has been attacking Ukraine regularly. To demonstrate that his nation could recover from this humiliation, Putin drove a vehicle over the bridge on Monday. The 19-kilometer bridge was inaugurated by Putin personally in 2018 as part of a costly attempt to support his claim to Crimea, which Russia illegitimately seized in 2014. As part of Moscow's plan to cause further suffering as winter draws closer, missiles fired in retaliation on Monday disrupted essential services in many Ukrainian districts. According to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, four persons were killed in the bombardment on Monday. Zelensky again showed his defiance by congratulating the workers who quickly attempted to restore electricity after the Ukrainian Air Force claimed it had shot down more than 60 of the 70 missiles.